Hi, I'm Stan Schneider. I'm the CEO of RTI. Uh, we are an Internet, Internet of Things protocol company. We build a communications platform that allows you to build big infrastructure systems. And we realize as much as anybody else that there is a huge variety of protocols out there. There's at least four of them, DDS, MQTT, XMPP, and AMQP that position themselves as real-time publish subscribe protocols for the Internet of Things. And if you properly define real-time and publish subscribe in things, it's probably true. But the real issue is, you know, what do you need for your system? And, and, and it comes down to reliability, and the question is, you know, what happens to your system that goes offline for five minutes? Um, if you're an air traffic control system and you're offline for five minutes, uh, that's a very big problem. Um, the second question is, how do you, is performance important? And we ask that question very simply, do you measure performance in something less than seconds? If you talk about milliseconds or microseconds, you really should talk to us. Or scalability, if you talk about hundreds or thousands of computer systems having to work together at the same time uh, that you have that you have a really hard performance problem and the last thing is sort of integration how long is it going to last if a software has to last three years five or ten years you definitely need an infrastructure that's going to be able to grow and evolve with you and if you're asking all three of those questions you check all three of those boxes i think you are i don't think we've ever not had anybody uh, decide in the end to choose our product our, our technology dds if you're building a big producer, Grand Coulee Dam is one of our customers, Siemens Wind Power, big wind turbines out there, you know, a big generating station. Uh, you probably need all three of the things I talked about before, and you are going to probably be much happier with DDS. You know, actually started out with the Toronto Convention Center where you want to be able to control and, and move loads on and off, and more importantly, move generating capacity on and off. So you've got a lot of solar or wind power, or things like that in a local environment, you need to be, be able to uh, deal with that dynamics quickly. It's much easier to have the control out in the field. Um, that's another great application of DDS. Uh, if you want to be able to balance the grid between those in the cloud, you can you know, run that kind of information up into a cloud infrastructure across the WAN. Uh, we can handle that as well. Um, but you know, that's, that's sort of where DDS lives very well is in high performance control. Uh, if your goal instead is to uh, monitor all of the houses in a big neighborhood, you know, collect millions of pieces of data every five minutes from all the uh, power meters and bring them up to the cloud and do billing optimization or something like that. You don't have the same kind of constraints. There's protocols like MQTT and CoAP that are really much designed for collection. Um, if you have you know, the other application in power, you want to be able to turn my lights on. I want to find my lights in the house and connect to just my light turn it on and off remotely with my phone, or I want to you know, monitor how much power I'm using uh, on a given Thursday. Uh, that's sort of an access problem. It doesn't have a lot of scalability. probably doesn't have much timing constraints. There's lots of ways you can do that. Um, so to sum it up, you, know, you want to first figure out what your hardest problem is. Solve your hardest problem. Your hardest problem is control or distribution of large amounts of data. You want to pick DDS. If your hardest problem is collection of a lot of data and getting it up to the cloud. There's things like MQTT that work great. If your hardest problem is processing that data in the cloud, there's queuing protocols like AMQP and things that will allow you to uh, never lose information that comes out of the banking industry. And if your problem is just accessing sort of random things in the, you know, the random needle in the data haystack, uh, XMPP or REST technologies that do a great job of addressing is really the way to go. For more information, check out our website, www.rti.com. If you're technical, I'm really also going to push you towards community.rti.com. There's an amazing amount of information out there. <laughs>